Hello everyone, welcome to Global Online. In this lecture, we are going to see entire UGC net paper 1 and in this lecture, we are going to discuss most expected MCQ on people development and environment unit. And in this lecture, we are going to discuss the Environment Protection Act and a national action plan on the climate change. So, we are going to see the MCQ with the detailed explanation. So, do watch this lecture to clear all your doubt about the same and you will receive my lecture every day at 7 a.m. So, do visit our channel every day at 7 and do watch my lecture to score more marks in the upcoming exam. Before we move forward, I want to tell you that we the Global Online has brought 2000 plus MCQ quick revision PDF in which you are going to get current affairs questions, previous year questions, most expected questions and most repeated questions for the paper 1. And this PDF is available just for rupees 5.99. To get a PDF, contact on given number. अगर आप ये PDF लेके study करते हो, तो मैं sure हूँ कि आपको 70-75 marks easily मिल जाएंगे और आपका paper one easily clear हो जाएगा. What you are waiting for? Get the PDF and start your preparation today. Ability to deal with the high density or a crowded environment refer to. So here in this question they ask you the ability to deal with the high density or a crowded environment. For which the first option here is crowding tolerance, second one is personal space, third one is competition tolerance and the last one is mob behavior. Okay. The human, human influence on the environment, the human being also extract their influence on the natural environment for a fulfilling their physical needs and other purposes. Noise, pollution, crowding and a natural disaster are some of the examples of the environmental uh, stressors which are a stimuli or a condition in the environment that create a stress for the human beings. The human reaction to the varying the status may differ. So here the crowding refer to the feeling of the discomfort. It is a feeling of discomfort. And there are too many people or things around us giving us the expression of a physical uh, restriction and sometimes the lack of, of privacy. The people differ in the degree to which they show the negative effect of a crowding and also in the nature of this uh, reaction. The crowding tolerance refer to the ability to uh, mentally deal with the high density or a crowded environment. So here the correct answer for this question will be option number 1 that is crowding tolerance. Consider the following statements. So here in this question they given you some statements. The first statement is earth will be a suffer without greenhouse effect. Second one is major contribution to the greenhouse effect come from the carbon dioxide. Third one is urban climate was a changing even before men appear on the earth. For this, they given you the four options and from this, you have to select the correct one here. Okay. So, the climate change is a long-term alteration in the earth climate weather pattern over a season and a decade. It includes both human and naturally produced warming and its impact on the planet. So, the statement one, that is the earth will be suffer without a greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is the raise in the temperature of the earth because of a certain gases in the atmosphere, such as a water vapors, carbon dioxide, then is a nitrogen oxide, then is a ozone is there, methane is there, okay. And most of the sunlight that enters the earth atmosphere get observed by the earth surface, land, water, and a biosphere. Once the observe, then this energy is sent back to the uh, atmosphere. However, much of its remain trapped in the atmosphere at the greenhouse gases. Okay. Second statement. That is a human activity also produce the greenhouse gases and amount of these gases keep increasing in the atmosphere. Burning of a fossil fuel like a coal, oil and the natural gases cutting down and burning of a tree release the huge amount of a carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Okay. And the third statement is climate change is not a new experience for the earth. Climate has changed even before the human began to burn the 
uh, fossil fuel the earth has gone through the countless temperature uh, fluctuation from being a frozen planet to a blazing tropical heat so here the correct answer for this question will be option number b that is b and c will be correct here okay which is not component of human environment so here in this question they given you the four option and they ask you given which is not the component of human environment for which the first option here is land second one is religion third one is community and the last one is the family so here the human environment is the social condition along with the external factor that affect its natural and physical behavior okay so the social institution are in the essential part of any society and this social institution perform some of the essential function of the society the most fundamental institution of a society is the family there is a community is a group of a people living in a particular area sharing the common norms religion value and a custom the human environment is a surrounding of is a family all the community religion value value and custom so here the land is not a part of a human environment as a land does not affect the human environment personally so here the correct answer for this question will be option number a land is not a component of human environment which of the following is not a negative impact of urbanization on the environment so here in this question they given you the four option and they ask you given which of the following is not a negative impact of urbanization on the environment for which the first option is deforestation second one is pollution then is waste recycling and the last one is loss of biodiversity so the urbanization refer to the change in living pattern of a people from the rural to the urban the urban lifestyle include the concrete road building better infrastructure continuous water and electricity supply basically the urbanization is the uh, up leveling of a living standard of the people so with the rapid urbanization and over population there is a cognition in the urban area and this accommodate the ever expanding population there is a deforestation uh, to make the space so the deforestation lead to the loss of a biodiversity increase in the consumption of a energy source and a deforestation together are a major cause of a pollution in the urban area with increasing awareness of a environment urban center are moving towards a more sustainable culture and this has led to the adoption of a techniques like a waste recycling okay so the waste recycling is not a negative impact of a urbanization on the environment so here the correct answer for this question will be option number c that is waste recycling which of the following statement represent mangrove characteristic as a safety hedge so here in this question they ask you given which of the following statement represent the mangrove characteristic as a safety hedge okay for which the first option given here is the mangrove tree are a tall with the dense canopies second one is the mangrove tree provide both food and a medicine third one is the mangrove swamp separate the human settlement from the sea and the last one is the mangrove tree provide the vulnerable coastal line as they hold the soil together so when we talk about the mangrove tree mangrove root collect the sleet and the sediment that tides carry in a rivers carry out towards the sea by holding the soil in the place the tree stabilize the sterile line against the erosion seedling that take a root the sand bar help the stabilize the sand bar over a time and may eventually create the small island okay the potential reduction of a wave height in a mangrove can be explained by a dense network of a trunk branches and above ground root of the mangrove tree increases bed roughness causing a more friction and create a more wave energies so here the correct answer for this question will be option number d the mangrove tree protect the vulnerable coastlines as they hold soil together 
So here in this question, they given you the assertion and the reason. The assertion is forest help in improving the air quality of a place. For this, the reason given is some tree species emit volatile organic components, which is also known as VOC as such as a isoprene, which may contribute to the formation of tropospheric ozone. Okay, for which they given you the code and from this code you have to select the correct one. So the degradation of a quality of a air has become a, one of the major problem faced by the country all over the world. So when we are talking about an assertion here, the forests are the multifunctional, they are useful to the human society, right? Useful for human society in the various way. The tree naturally clean the atmosphere by observing the pollutant gases and some particulars matters through the leaves okay and when we are talking about the reason uh, so here the plant represent a major source of a volatile organic component which is also known as voc emission increase during the warm season often exhibiting the potential temperature dependence okay and most important voc are a isoprene monostropine emission of a isoprene mostly contribute to the formation of a ground level okay so here the assertion and the reason both are the correct okay but r is not the correct explanation of the a that means the option b will be the correct answer here the long term effect of cutting down of trees in a large area of a rainforest is so here in this question they ask you the long term effect of a cutting down the trees in a large area of the rainforest is okay for which the first option here is increase rainfall in those area second one is decreases rainfall in those area third one is increase in the wind speed in those area and the last one is increase rate of a soil erosion in those area so the forest play a many important ecological role okay from helping to a uh, imitate a uh, climate change to providing the home for a uh, many species of a uh, plant and uh, animal providing the food medicine livelihood for the people around the globe however this essential ecological powerhouses are uh, currently at the risk so when we are talking about a uh, rainforest rainforests are the world most oldest living ecosystem please remember this it is a world most oldest living ecosystem and the ecosystem is not just a plant but also the bird mammals reptiles fish bacteria and even the non living elements like a soil water air okay so the rainforest produce store and filter the water protecting against the soil erosion flood and the drought the deforestation is a uh, endangering the rainforest worldwide driven by the logging mining agriculture and uh, ranging before the humans started destroying the rainforest they cover the 15% of the earth of the earth land okay and today they cover only the 6% so you can see the difference from 15% to the 6% okay the rainforest influence the carbon cycle that is a green plant take up the carbon dioxide from the photosynthesis a process during which a oxygen is released into the air and also have a perform the effect on the rainfall when the tree are cut down in the forest it ultimate and decrease the amount of a transformation which means that the amount of a rainfall in that area will decrease so here the correct answer for this question will be option number b that is the long term effect of cutting down the tree in a large area of the rainforest is decrease rainfall in those areas which is not correct for a 
green chemistry so here in this question they given you the four option and they ask you which one is not correct for the green chemistry for which the first option here is design binning chemicals second one is designed for a non degradation third one is designed to reduce the use and generation of hazardous substances and the last one is designed for a strategic pathway to build a sustainable future so here first you have to understand about the green chemistry so green chemistry which is also known as a sustainable chemistry please remember the other name sustainable chemistry the design is applicable to the life cycle of a chemical product the green chemistry focus on the impact of a chemical on the environment and the prevention of pollution prevention of pollution in 1998 the wonder published a book green chemistry theory and uh, practices it reduced the chemical uh, disruption in the ecosystem the chemical have a lower potential for a global warming ozone depletion and a formation of a uh, photochemical smoke okay the 12 principle of a there are a 12 principle of a green chemistry which we are going to see here so here you can see the 12 principle of a green chemistry the first one is a pollution prevention then is a uh, autumn econ economy third one is less hazardous chemical synthesis the fourth one is designed for a suffer chemical then is a suffer solvent and uh, auxiliaries then is a designed for the energy efficiency then is a use of renewable uh, feed stock then is reduce the uh, derivatives then is a catalyst then is a design for the degradation uh, 11 is a real time analysis for the population prevention and the last one is a inherently suffer the chemistry for the accident prevention okay all the 12 principle are uh, given in this slide so here the correct answer for this question is option number b design for non degradation will be the correct here so here in this question the assertion and the reason is given the assertion is night time temperature in the central part of the city are generally higher than those over the surrounding rural area okay for which the reason is given that radiation losses over the urban area are less than those over the rural area okay for which they given you some option the first option is both a and r are true and the r is the correct explanation of the a second one is both the a and r are true but r is not a correct explanation of the a third one is a is the true but r is the false and last one is a is the false but r is the true a climatic condition of the urban area differ from the climatic condition in the rural surrounding as the urban area develop changes occur in the landscape the building road and other infrastructure replace the open land and a vegetation the surfaces uh, they were uh, once the permeable and uh, moist become the impermeable and uh, dry the changes causes the urban region to become the warmer than the rural surrounding forming and the island the urban heat island which is also known as uhi is the metropolitan area that lots the uh, warmer than the rural area surrounding okay the temperature differ is uh, usually larger at the night during the day and uh, larger in the winter than the summer at the night the reactive losses from the urban building and the street material keep the city air warmer than that of the rural area and the primary cause include the city weather condition urbanization and the waste heat generated by the energy use so hence it is a observed that uh, it is a obvious that from given explanation the option a will be the correct answer for this question that both a and r are the true and r is the correct explanation of the a